I did spend the last month going through every single major trace mineral study published in the last five years. And I'm pretty convinced there's nothing trace minerals cannot fix in your body. But here's the problem. The information, it is scattered everywhere. We don't know which minerals we actually need and we don't know how much to take. We don't even know if the supplements we're actually buying are being absorbed into the body. Well, I went through everything and I'm going to break it down for you so you have a clear picture. This video is broken down into a few chunks. First, we talk about the mechanism. While your body is starving for minerals right now and what is blocking absorption, then we'll cover the energy piece how minerals directly control your ATP production. After that, we're gonna jump into the inflammation connection, how mineral deficiencies are driving chronic inflammation in ways that most doctors don't talk about. Then we'll talk about the whole body stuff, hormones, digestion, anxiety, sleep, all the things that minerals control, but nobody realizes. And then finally, we talk about what actually works and what is a waste of money. So let's look at the mechanism and why we're so mineral deficient today. So one of the biggest reasons is our modern farming and commercial pesticide use. The food that we eat is only as good as the soil that it comes from. And our modern soil has absolutely been decimated. Studies show that our soil today has lost 60 to 80% of its mineral content compared to 50 years ago. So we've gone from traditional farming, which very much focuses on regenerative practices, like letting the land lay once or twice every couple of years, now to basically monocropping, which is basically growing the same plant year on year, and also using pesticides in order to help it grow. And these pesticides kill beneficial microbes that make minerals bioavailable to the plants, which basically results in the lack of trace minerals in our food. But here's the thing, even if you're eating super clean today, there are still things in your diet that will be blocking mineral absorption. So things that block absorption is firstly an inflamed gut. If a gut is inflamed, your body has a harder time processing those minerals. Secondly, some plants have what we call plant defense mechanisms. It's a way of protecting themselves in nature. So that's phytic acid in grains, that's lectins in certain lentils. These are things to stop nature attacking the plants. Now, if we don't prepare our food properly, that can also hinder mineral absorption. And thirdly, glyphosate. Glyphosate, known as Roundup, is used on plants to essentially kill weeds. But the mechanism of glyphosate is it actually also chelates the minerals from the food that you're eating. Now, this whole mineral piece was a huge revelation for me personally. On my health journey, which spanned over five years, when I understood the importance of minerals and how I wasn't getting enough, even if I was doing all the healthy eating and the different juices, all of that stuff, when I realized I was mineral deficient, that was a light bulb moment for me. So when I dug into the research and pretty much got a PhD in the amount of studying I did, I realized that the body cannot heal and nothing can function without adequate minerals in the body. Without adequate minerals, we get things like chronic fatigue, brain fog, digestive issues, anxiety, the list goes on and on. Today, most people are walking around with mineral deficiencies and they don't even know it. And that could be the root cause of what's driving a lot of their symptoms. Over the years, working with hundreds of clients, just seeing them add in minerals every single single day is a game changer in so many areas of their health and just having that consistency of taking them every single day. Now, before we go further, I want to talk about the differences between trace minerals and electrolytes because a lot of people can get it confused. So electrolytes like calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium, they're needed in large amounts to keep the body's fluid balanced, the nervous system firing properly, and also muscles contracting. So when we get muscle cramps, that's usually an imbalance of the electrolytes within the body. Whereas trace minerals, things like zinc, selenium, molybdenum, they are needed in a a lot smaller amounts and they play a critical role behind the scenes. So think of electrolytes as the foundation of a house and the trace minerals are basically everything else that keeps the whole operation of the house moving. And here's the thing that most people miss about trace minerals. They are amazing at helping the body detox. Trace minerals protect your cells from toxic metals entering the cell receptors on the cell. So essentially when we're low in trace minerals and we're high in heavy metals in the environment, heavy metals will take the place of what trace minerals should be doing on the cell receptor. For example, if you're low in zinc, cadmium, which is found in cigarette smoke, will take its place on the cell receptor side. So next up, let's talk about the energy connection and why trace minerals is so important for ATP production. So every single enzyme in your body needs trace minerals to function, every single one. And it's just crazy when I realized this. The thousands of different enzymes in your body need specific trace minerals in order for them to function. Without zinc, you can't produce testosterone or break down alcohol, for example. And without selenium, you can't convert inactive thyroid hormone into active thyroid hormone. One of my clients was struggling with chronic insomnia for years. Tried everything, did all the different biohacks and all of that stuff. And just by adding in trace minerals every single day, taken throughout the day, her sleep improved dramatically. 
She no longer was waking up in the middle of the night. She was getting a full night's sleep just by making that one shift. Now, I'm not saying that's the only shift you need to make when it comes to sleep, not at all. But when we start to add those things in, it can improve our health in so many ways. So what are the minerals that are actively controlling your ATP production? So firstly, we have magnesium. It's responsible for over 300 enzymatic processes within the body. We absolutely need more magnesium, but in the right amount. That's important. The next one is zinc. Zinc is so important for energy, for hormone production, especially testosterone for the men. And also selenium, which is important for protecting against oxidative stress within the body. Minerals can make a huge difference to how we're feeling and how we show up. But here's the truth. Most mineral deficiencies are a sign of a deeper toxic issue within the body. So if you want to figure out where to start with minerals and how to bring your body back into balance, we have a free resource for you. Link in the description below. So now I want to look at the inflammation connection when we have a lack of trace minerals. Now here is where it really gets interesting. Most mineral deficiencies are driving chronic inflammation today in ways that most doctors don't talk about. Essentially, when your body is mineral deficient, it cannot produce as much glutathione as it needs. Glutathione, as you guys all know, is your master antioxidant. You need this for so many different functions within the body. So imagine this, imagine a fire department that basically have no water. Free radicals in the body is the fire. And when that fire runs wild, you get chronic inflammation, gut issues, all the things we've discussed. And eventually that becomes a root of autoimmune issues, joint issues, even brain fog over time. So when you're low in trace minerals, your immune system stops operating the way it should. It gets confused and overreacts. So it has inflammation in areas where you don't want it to have, and then it won't defend certain areas of the body that you need it to. Essentially, it's completely confused. So getting enough minerals in your diet calms down the immune system and starts bringing things back into balance and letting the immune system respond in the right way. Now let's talk about the whole body effects that no one talks about. But the energy and the inflammation piece really is the tip of the iceberg. Minerals pretty much control every function within your body. One of the things that shocked me the most was how much they control your hormones. So you have things like iodine and selenium for thyroid production. You've got things like zinc and boron for hormone production. It's endless in all the different things that trace minerals impact in the body. So when you're deficient in zinc, you get things like hair loss, brittle nails, you get low testosterone. And if you're low in iodine, you can get goiters, brain fog, a whole host of stuff that you don't want. But here's the cool part. When you start adding in trace minerals, man, you'll see some improvements very quickly. Clients improve better skin, better digestion, better energy, stronger hair, stronger nails, deeper sleep, and also reduced anxiety. Who would have thought just from taking more minerals? All right, so now you understand how important trace minerals are. But the thing is, most people still get it wrong. And the problem is most supplements out there when it comes to trace minerals are garbage. Most minerals out there today are in the synthetic forms, which means they are poorly absorbed and just don't get into the body and do what they need to do. Essentially, you're eating ground up rocks and shells, which don't have all the cofactors and the natural ratios of what it needs in order to be absorbed and utilized in the body. So firstly, you want nature derived sources. So these are foods that come directly from nature that have all the natural ratios and cofactors already in place. So these are things like desiccated organs. I love desiccated liver. You have bone broth, you have meat stock. This is where trace minerals come in their natural ratio so the body recognizes them and knows what to do with them. Bone broth and meat stock in particular are fantastic because they are very bioavailable. They're great at supporting cellular function and immune function. So if you haven't made meat stock or bone broth, get making them. Next up is fulvic and humic acids. They come from ancient plant matter and soil. They contain the full spectrum of trace minerals in their most absorbable form. What's really cool is they also help transport nutrients into your cells and support detoxification at the same time. Trace minerals and ionic liquid drops are a great way to get trace minerals into your body, especially when they're sourced from ancient seabeds and marine deposits. These are great because you can literally just add these to your drinking water every single day. The bottom line is this, the form of your trace minerals matters. The synthetic stuff does not work, trust me. Choose minerals that come from whole natural sources. Your body will instantly recognize them and know exactly what to do with them. Now let's look at the timing and absorption. So ideally you wanna do trace minerals first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. You don't wanna have it with food as it can impact its ability to absorb. The other thing that's really important is take your time absorbing trace minerals. So for example, if you add trace minerals to your water or some fulvic and humic acid to your water, sip it over a couple of hours. Don't just drink it in one go because you want your body to assimilate and absorb that nutrition over time. If you drink it straight away, it's not going to be absorbed. And then also, don't have it with food because when you're eating food, that is a intensive process for your digestive system. And what I tend to see is people don't absorb the nutrition as well versus having it on an empty stomach. When it comes to meat stock and bone broth, you can have it with food. Actually, you can use that with your food. You can make some nice stocks and soups with meat stock and bone broth. 
But ideally, if you could have meat stock and bone broth on their own, pinch of salt, tastes amazing. And again, you'll get better absorption. Now you're probably asking, Adam, how long does it take to start seeing improvement in my health issues if I start adding interest minerals into my diet? So from my experience, most people see an increase in energy within the first two to three weeks. But really, this is a long game. Having them every single day, within three to six months, you will be literally night and day from issues that you would have previously had. So anxiety, sleep issues, skin issues, all of it starts to turn around just by having daily minerals in your diet. As I said, the biggest mistake here is thinking synthetic minerals do as good a job. And buying these synthetic blends that look great, the Martin looks amazing, but essentially they're not going to do the same job of what trace minerals from nature would do. Just remember, we are from nature. That's the deal. So by having things from nature, the body knows and recognizes what to do with them. So to recap, trace minerals influence pretty much everything. Energy, inflammation, hormones, digestion, sleep, you name it, trace minerals plays a role. And most people today are deficient in trace minerals, even if you're eating a super healthy, clean diet. Minerals do a lot of things, including helping you detox, but they only play part of the picture if your body is still overloaded with toxins. So that's why I put together a free guide on the different types of mineral supplementation that I like and that I recommend to my clients. If you want it, check it out in the description below. And if you want to see this in action, check out this video of how I helped a client reverse chronic fatigue and anxiety after years of trying everything. You can check out that video right here.